Welcome to the ill blur. Madding, shooting it, oh yeah. Welcome back to ill blur. Maddie, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, my returning subscribers, ill family. Thank you so much for commenting, liking, and supporting. Also, new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Oh yeah. Let's get right into it. So, apparently DC is going in a new phase or a new direction. But let's, like, give a moment of silence to the Snyderverse. It's officially gone, literally. Um, there has been no talks about reviving the Snyderverse. As much as it would have been dope to see, I'm not going to lie, me being the DC fan I am, I did enjoy the works from Zack Snyder, his movies. Uh, you know, but good things all come to an end, right? So let's talk about this new DC uh, thing that's going on. So with this revival of DC and also these new changes that they're making, this will be a reset for the DC Cinematic Live Adaption Universe. I am totally fine with that. Um, you know, it's interesting to see that they are going this direction, but this change is probably needed because, like I said, Zack Snyder's no longer at DC so that makes the most logical sense when it comes down to it. Also, they've talked about <laughs> pretty much they have a 10-year uh, plan. I was like, what? DC? Nah, nah, couldn't be DC. Nah, not DC. Yes, it's DC. Shockingly, I was like, okay, DC. I see y'all. Y'all out here taking notes from Marvel. It's nothing wrong with companies learning from other companies. And I think this actually could work, like a 10-year plan. Because let's be honest, DC, um, at the beginning of this, when Marvel was kind of already having their 10-year plans and kind of what they were going to do with their cinematic projects, whether it was movies or TV shows, I think DC was a little jealous. So like some of the films felt like they were like they were putting them out too quickly. And this is what I've been hearing about it. The CEO, David Zavalov, uh, mentioned that this 10-year thing could work. Um, and I think it could definitely work. I think the problem with DC, and this is what I see with DC, I don't know anybody else noticed it, they can't seem to keep a president. That's the problem I see with DC. DC can't keep a president to save their life for their company for these live comic adaptions. The anime department, the anime department, terrific. They do terrific films. I love most of the animated DC films. I feel like that department's cool. They now need to figure out how they're going to keep a, a president for the live comic adaptions. That's the problem I see with this whole thing. The 10-year the 10-year plan seemed like it could definitely work. But you need a solid president. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't even know if the chick that I mentioned in one of my other videos I'm going to sh uh, share in the link so you guys can check it out. If she's even still in the role of that. The only person that I know that's still standing that's the executive officer is Jim Lee. Jim Lee is the person that is writing a lot of the stuff. He's kind of helping out the people to come out with the comic books and all that stuff too. Glad to see that Jim Lee is still around. It's interesting. I, I never I never uh, wonder why didn't Jim Lee become the president of the DC live adaption cinematic universe. I, I never understood it you know what i'm saying if somebody knows tell me in the comment comments excuse me about it um but they need to find someone that's dedicated to their company like uh like i said a kevin feige that's at marvel and i know i talked about that too in another video that they're looking for a kevin feige so the thing is realistically i would love to see this work for dc i'm not gonna lie i would love to see this work for dc uh, I do know that they said they're not going to try to rush out films. They're going to have a set schedule. They're going to release films like between certain quarters, like maybe the, the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, depending on the type of film. And they want to focus on pushing out DC as a brand. Because remember, DC got acquired by Discovery. Uh, and also, Wonder Brothers was also acquired by Discovery. Uh, what's his name? Uh, David Zavalov, excuse me. So it's interesting to see and to hear this news uh, that DC is kind of turning over a new leaf. Um, but like I said, the main thing is, can they find someone that can be a solid president to run this live adaption cinematic universe? Um, I, it's a little disappointing. I'm not going to lie. 
I did like the Zack Snyder verse for the movies and stuff. But it's unfortunate Zack Snyder is no longer at DC at the moment. And that's due to his last film, The Justice League Snyder's Cut, by the way, too. Um, and, you know, to some degree, uh, I think it, they needed a new change. I love that they're taking notes from Disney and, and Marvel how to run a plan out and kind of lay out things. I think that's what DC was missing in the long run for quite a bit. You know what I'm saying? We've seen where DC is, oh, yeah, so-and-so coming out. I know they've canceled a couple projects too. Batgirl got canceled. The Wonder Twins got canceled. So it seems like DC is kind of getting a vision of what they want for their actual company when it comes to these live adaption comic book movies. Um, but I'm excited to see this, man. I, I really hope they can find someone uh, that can help them. Maybe Kevin Feige can get them someone that may have that ambition and that drive. That's a possibility. You never know. But this is your boy, Ill Blur. Matt, you tell me in the comments, guys. Are you surprised that DC is going this approach where they want to have a 10-year plan for their cinematic movies and stuff? Are you surprised that they're modeling <laughs> after the Disney and Marvel brand? When it comes to wanting to put out movies at certain uh, quarters and also them focusing on putting out better uh, movie material, uh, or are you just like, man, I don't know, man. And who would you like to see to be the president? Because honestly, the lady that I did a video on, I don't even think she's still at DC no more. Like DC be shh. They don't, they'll never tell you when they president leaving. Shh. They like be quiet, don't say nothing, don't don't confirm it, none of that stuff. <laughs> you don't hear about that until like a few months later. I'm like, dang DC, y'all just gonna do us like that. The fans, come on DC, come on DC. It's your boy Ill Blur, Better guys. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for logging in into this time. Have a great one, guys. If you are not subscribed, go hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys. Have a great one. I'm out. <laughs> If you made it to the end of the video, you are the real MVPs, oh yeah.